Welcome to Painting with Carmia. It's been a while since I last put up a painting video, but I have something which I really wanted to do some art for, and so I thought I would record the painting process. I actually have a Let's Play channel which I haven't updated in a long time, and I realized that I wanted to change the channel art for it, and since I've been doing a lot of art with this little kitty Weibao here, I've been using him for my social media handles and icons and stuff like that, I decided that I would do a picture of him sitting on a video game controller. Now he is a little kitty in fantasy ancient China, so you wouldn't expect him to see video games, but, well... He does have an immortal in the family, so chances are he's probably going to be fed a golden elixir and live for a very, very long time, and he will see the invention of video games eventually. So here we are. The first process and thing I'm going to start with is something that I've become really fond of, which is wet on wet. I never used to like it, but I've become much more fond of it. Not always for the finer details later on, but for the earliest stages of a painting, I think that doing wet on wet is very nice because you get really nice natural effects out of it. You kind of have to accept with watercolor that things are gonna happen, the paint is gonna do things. And you can, once you're more experienced, you can predict what it will do and you do have some control, but you also have to accept that it's going to be an organic process which will not be exactly what you want 100% of the time. I know that's something which some people do struggle with, with watercolor, and don't tell me the ink isn't dry. It's not 100% dry. Well, I can probably only do a very tiny bit of the wider area then. That's incredible, and not in a good way. I know it's cold at the moment, but still. I can probably get a little bit of base layer on, but not too much then, if I have to avoid the ink. That is a huge shame, but at least I can do a tiny bit today, and yeah, you have to really be careful when it comes to your ink in winter. It does not always dry nicely. I'm a little disappointed because yeah, this is pretty much all I can do now but it's okay. I do like to do a very light amount of paint around his face and not as much in some of the other, and then more in some of these other areas. This is just like a cream color that's very good for skin tones, but it's also nice for doing this base layer of the cat fur because he is a cat who has cream and then a lot of different dark browns and stuff like that layered on top. So this gives me a nice base coat, which is paler to match the creamy base coat that the cat has. And it's a Li Hua Mao, which is a type of Chinese cat. I think it's a fairly old Chinese breed. I think it's sometimes translated as like a dragon Li cat, which has nothing to do with the original name. Li Hua is like a flower. But here we are. This is only one base layer, since it turns out that the ink is not fully, fully dry yet, and that is very unfortunate. Hopefully by tomorrow it will be fine. That is such a huge shame. I'm gonna have to just leave it for now, but that's another lesson. I think that one thing that would help is probably to put it near the heater. I have two space heaters that I use in my apartment in winter because it's so cold, and I could probably have put it near the space heater in order to help it dry faster. So I did learn something. <laughs> I do like to show my mistakes and things like this which don't quite go well because then you can learn too. I think a lot of artists want to present their art being the best it possibly can, and while that is completely understandable, I think that it does give people a mistaken impression that art is easy and this painter is perfect and nothing ever goes wrong. I mean, obviously you can tell I'm not perfect. I'm constantly comparing myself to more professional artists, which is not always very reasonable. Manga artists, for instance, have entire studios full of assistants, so you really can't compare yourself to them and say, oh, my art isn't that good. Of course it's not. You can't expect a single person to be able to produce art like that consistently all the time in a short time frame. Anyway, we're going to put a little bit of that here to give a blushy effect to his face, but not quite that much, so we can soak some of it up. There is an advantage to wet on wet. That's where you can really soak up a lot. And here we are. This is a base layer which I can't really add much to at the moment because we're going to be dealing with the wet paint, the wet ink, the ink which is not 100% dry. Huge shame, but what can we do? I'm going to have to wait longer. But we learned something. So I'll have to work on this again tomorrow. For now, we have one base layer and that's it.